हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन विच आर एसेंशियल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ डिफरेंट मेडिकेशन कैन एफेक्ट ईच अदर वेन यू आर गोइंग टू टेक टूगेदर सो हियर वी आर हैविंग अ डॉक्यूमेंट दट्स टेकन फ्रॉम कैप्स एंड ट्रिवर्स फार्माकोलॉजी एग्जामिनेशन एंड बोर्ड रिव्यू थर्टीन एडिशन ओके एंड दिस डॉक्यूमेंट इज बेसिकली आउटलाइनिंग ऑल दिस इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन see this information is crucial in clinical practice to ensure patient safety and the effectiveness of drug therapies so i will explain some of these uh, interactions in detail in a simplified manner right so firstly the interaction between alcohol and other drugs is particularly noteworthy you know alcohol can dangerously enhance the effects of central nervous system depressants okay this means that when you take alcohol along with drugs that also depresses your cns for for instance such as sedatives the combined effect can leads to increased sedation followed by impaired motor control that is called ataxia as well as heightened risk of accidents additionally when alcohol is taken with acetaminophen which is commonly known as tylenol it can leads to the formation of toxic substances in the liver potentially causing liver damage now let's move on to the second important drug interaction that involves antacids you know antacids are commonly used to reduce stomach acidity see these antacids these drugs they can interfere with the absorption of various drugs in the gastrointestinal tract this can occur through direct chemical interactions or by altering the level of ph in your stomach which can affect how some drugs are absorbed so the drugs that can be affected include digoxin which is a heart medication a positive inotropic drug followed by the drugs that can be affected with antacids are iron supplements followed by certain antibiotics like fluoroquinolones tetracyclines and antifungal drugs like ketoconazole and thyroxine which is a thyroid hormone moving to the third important drug interaction with antihistamines see antihistamines are the drugs which are commonly used for allergy relief right so when you use these drugs with the drugs like antimuscarinics as well as sedatives you have these drug interactions moreover antihistamines can delay gastric emptying which means they can slow down the onset of action of other drugs that's taken orally followed by we have barbiturates barbiturates present another important area of drug interactions these drugs can increase the metabolic clearance of many drugs processed in the liver this means that if you if you are taking a medication that is metabolized by the liver such as certain antifungal drugs blood pressure medications immunosuppressants or anticoagulants and you take a barbiturate the effectiveness of the first drug may be reduced as it is broken down more quickly in the liver now fifth important drug interaction that is with beta blockers you know beta blockers commonly used for heart conditions and for hypertension and these beta blockers can interact with insulin which is used to manage diabetes specifically beta blockers can mask the symptoms of hypoglycemia nothing but low blood sugar and this is something is a potential side effect of insulin right and this can make it difficult for the patients to recognize when their blood sugar levels are dangerously low bile acid binding resins which are used to lower blood cholesterol level can reduce the absorption of other drugs like acetaminophen digitalis diuretics like thiazides and thyroid hormones like thyroxine this occurs because these resins they binds to the drugs in the intestine preventing them from being absorbed into the blood stream followed by carbamazepine which is an anticonvulsant and we have another drug like lithium which is a mood stabilizing drug 
these two drugs can decrease the effectiveness of other drugs by increasing their metabolism this means that drugs such as immunosuppressants certain antibiotics hormones right antipsychotics asthma medications and blood thinners may become less effective when taken with carbamazepine as they are broken down more rapidly in the body simitidine a medication used to treat heartburn and stomach ulcers can increase the risk of toxicity of several drugs it does this by inhibiting their metabolism in the liver or reducing their excretion by the kidneys drugs that can be affected include sedatives local anesthetics anti epileptics beta blockers heart rhythm medications asthma medications blood thinners and certain heart medications moving on to the next group of drug interactions that includes disulfiram metronidazole certain cephalosporins and alcohol see these drugs when taken with alcohol can cause a disulfiram like reaction you know disulfiram is a drug which is used to support the treatment of chronic alcoholism by producing an acute sensitivity to alcohol so when alcohol is consumed along with these drugs it can leads to unpleasant effects like flushing headache nausea vomiting and palpitations and why is this happening see this is due to accumulation of acetaldehyde which is a metabolite of alcohol which these drugs prevent from being further metabolized this reaction serves as deterrent against alcohol consumption in patients being treated for alcohol dependence followed by grapefruit juice and various drugs so grapefruit juice can significantly interact with various drugs including some statins that's used for lowering your cholesterol and grapefruit juice also interacts with your calcium channel blockers and many other drugs see this interaction occurs because grapefruit juice is actually inhibiting an enzyme in your intestines that normally break down these drugs leading to higher blood levels of the drug and increasing the risk of side effects followed by we have drugs called monoamine oxidase inhibitors and various other drugs as well as foods so these monoamine oxidase inhibitors which are used primarily as antidepressants can dangerously interact with various drugs including selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors which is an another class of antidepressants okay not only that these m this mao inhibitors they also interact with the sympathomimetics and mepiridine they can also react with tyramine containing foods like aged cheese and red wine these interactions leads to hypertensive crisis or serotonin syndrome both of which can be life threatening a hypertensive crisis is a severe increase in blood pressure why serotonin syndrome is a potentially fatal condition caused by excess serotonin in the brain and lastly we have drugs the painkillers called non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs when you take this nsaids with corticosteroids anticoagulants or ssris okay all this can increase the risk of gi bleeding this is because nsaids can cause irritation of the stomach lining and when combined with drugs that affects blood clotting the risk of bleeding in the stomach increases right Moreover, NSAIDs can reduce the effectiveness of antihypertensive drugs like beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and diuretics, potentially leading to poorly controlled blood pressure. Right, and that concludes our exploration of some of the critical drug interactions you need to be aware of. Remember, understanding these interactions is not just for healthcare professionals; it's crucial for everyone. each one of us has a role to play in ensuring medication safety whether you are a patient caregiver or someone interested in the world of pharmacology always inform your healthcare provider about all the medications supplements and herbal products you are using and do not forget even every day substances like alcohol and grapefruit juice can significantly alter how your medicines they are going to work right so do not take it light if you found this video informative don't forget to like share and subscribe 
for more content like this okay so this is the end of this lecture we'll meet in the next lecture with a new topic right so till then stay informed stay safe i will see you in the next video thank you